and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Brick in the Mole. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day, because I'm certainly excited to be back here on this mysterious plot of land that we strangely inherited, where I've decided to build myself a mole. Or rather, I've decided to sink a lot of money into the process of building a mole, and it's not really paid off. Yesterday, we made $579. Today, we're not really making much. We are not really making much at all. So, what I'm thinking is that we have these counters over here, and we have all this space. So, I'm thinking I might get rid of the pharmacy, and I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of the fresh produce area, and I'm going to go back to basics. And what I'd like to do is put everything in one store, because I don't think we need to have it in different stores. At least that's that's an assumption I'm making. I think I could save some money if I wasn't hiring people for these other stores and I just put it all in this one. Plus we have the the cashiers, we have the counters, so we might as well. Uh, so if we go to build, we're gonna want to get several different shelves. Uh, I do want to get all the cosmetics and stuff in here again, much like uh, what we have in Jeff's place. So we're gonna do it like this. Uh, we're gonna put a shelf there and a shelf there Then we're gonna need some fridges uh, So the fridges are gonna go Along there. How many fridges do we actually need? Uh, we need Eight of them. Okay, so that's gonna be a bit tricky uh, Right that does make things slightly complicated. Let me go to man Let me go to build for a second and let me go to remove walls and objects let me get all of this out of here. Now, today is going to be a low money kind of day. And by that, I mean day 18 is going to be a low money kind of day because we're getting rid of all of this stuff. But hopefully I can make this work. Uh, so if we go back to build and we go back to objects, what we want to do is get more fridges there and there. And we want a bunch of fridges along here as well. Uh, we are going to want four tables as well so we can get the fresh stuff in here like that. Uh, we are, oh no, we want six tables, don't we? Okay, we're gonna want six tables, so the tables can go like that. Then we're gonna need a lot of these regular shelves. Now we do have a few of them already, but we'll get a couple more there. We'll get a bunch down here as well. And then we want regular food shelves, I suppose, since I did get rid of a lot of regular food shelves already. Uh, so we'll do this kind of thing, let me cancel that one. And let me do this kind of thing. And let me do that kind of thing as well. Now that actually fits in really, really nicely. Uh, in fact, what I'll do is build right up to there with those shelves. And we still have the liquor area, which is obviously quite important. Uh, let me just build right down like this. Now again, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money that we're spending here on these shelves. But I reckon this might be a good idea. So. Let's see what we can do. Number one, we need all of the different types of fresh produce. Although what I'd like to do first is actually go to areas, uh, go to a sign and say that all of this is gone along with the employees. So proceed. We no longer have those shops. Uh, so what we want to do is begin here on the right hand side. And actually, let's go with, let's do, let's do this first. So food, uh, fresh fruit, and we want fresh fruit. And then we're going to want some fresh veg with some fresh veg and then the bread and the bread. So that's what the middle bit's going to be. Then in here, we are going to want to get some fresh meat in those two. Uh, so fresh meat in those. And then we're going to want some, what else do we want? Milk, dairy, and ice cream. No, fresh fish is the other one. So fresh fish in those two. Just like so. Uh, then milk in those as well. So milk in there. And we are going to want some dairy in those ones as well. So that's all going to be quite set up quite nicely. Over here, I reckon we're going to go for, let's see, cookware, possibly. Detergents, maybe. Cookware and dishes. I reckon that could be an idea. So cookware. And we'll go for some uh, dishes. Then let's start figuring out these shelves. There's a lot of shelves to figure out here, but this will to be totally, totally worth it. Uh, let's say that this side is going to be candies for those two. Then next to the candy, we're going to have some snacks. 
because that seems like it would be a good idea. Uh, then next to the snacks, can we go for beverages and go for some soda? And some soda, and then some juices right at the end, just like that. So that should be totally fine. Uh, now we don't have any bottled water listed in here, so we might as well get some of that on the go too. So, bottled water in those ones. Uh, and then I think that's all of the beverages. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely all the beverages. So, I guess down here we could go for more snacks. I don't think that would hurt. Uh, so we'll get a bunch of snacks. We'll go for some cookies on there as well. We don't have any of those yet. So go for more cookies. And we'll go for more... Uh, more cookies, I think. I think we'll go... You know what? Go for some breakfast cereal. We'll go for... We'll imagine that's like the kids... You know, the kids and snacks are. So that's going to be like some kids breakfast cereal or something like that. Uh, so that's going to be a pretty good start for this store. Although we do need to get the general cosmetics in here. Uh, so let's get cosmetics and let's get some cosmetics there. Then we'll go and get ourselves some deodorant. We'll get ourselves some... Ooh, let's see. We, aren't, we do need diapers and toilet paper as well. So let's do toilet paper. Let's do diapers. And up here we could go for more cosmetics. Uh, did we... Do we have tooth care? I don't know if we even have drugs currently. We might need some of those. Uh, let's go for tooth care. We do need first aid and drugs as well, as well as possibly pads and tampons, because we don't have any of those either. So if we go back to build, and we go to here, we could do this sort of thing, and that'll probably be a good idea. Uh, so what else can we put in here? We've, we've got most of the food. Well, we don't have canned food yet, so we'll get that. Very nearly done. I know this is a little bit tedious, but this is kind of the game. This is, this is kind of what you do. You manage all this stuff, and I'm hoping this will work. Uh, so let's go for sauce and seasoning, rice and pasta, coffee and tea, and pet food. All right. So all of that needs to be stocked. And those shelves need to go in. So let's get ourselves, uh, oh, we don't have bed sheets either. Uh, but let's go for first aid. Let's go for, uh, drugs and let's go for pads and tampons as well. There we go. So that should be totally fine. All of this stuff needs to be removed. So let's go to build. Uh, let's go to remove walls and objects. And all of that needs to go. That's why uh, removing all of that and placing all of that was a little bit complicated. Because we already technically had a lot of it. Uh, but this place is now being stocked. Which is beautiful. Like I said, today is going to be a slow day in terms of making money. But... My hope is that having everything in one store is going to be good. I hope that uh, we'll see more sales come out of it. It is just going to take a while to stock everything. What's more, we can actually go ahead and make restaurants. We, ha we can make fast food restaurants, which is totally something I want to do. I also want to get on uh, restrooms as opposed to going straight for clothing suppliers. So we'll do that immediately. And tomorrow, I am curious to see just how much money we can make, because this has basically just become a supermarket. That's what we've got here. We've basically made a supermarket. It's just not very well stocked at the moment because we decided to change the whole thing in the middle of the work day, but I'm hopeful that I can make this work. I'm hopeful that this place will become successful and that people will be really keen to, uh, to do their shopping here. I mean, thus far, it's, you know, I... I <laughs> I don't know if it's actually making money, but I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure we'll see how things go once this place closes and the uh, the stock clerks can get on to uh, actually getting everything in here. So, right, this place is closed. The stock clerks are going to show up at some point. I also realize I could totally turn this whole place into like a restaurant, but that's that's a lot of space. That's a lot of space right there. Although I'm still tempted. Still definitely tempted. Um, you know what? Let's go to build again and let me remove some walls and objects. Let me just remove all of those. And let me remove that, that, and that. So that's all going to go. Then I want to build some walls. I want to build a wall there. And I want to build a wall there. And I want to build a wall there. And I also want to build a wall just there. And then maybe remove that little bit there. Because if I do turn this into a restaurant, this is going to be storage. This will all be restaurant. 
big restaurant, but restaurant nonetheless. Uh, so the stock clerks are coming in and doing their thing. There's two of them, which is absolutely beautiful. They have a little bit of time before this place opens. We've almost got the whole thing stocked. The place is now open, though. Quite a few customers coming in immediately, which is beautiful news. Absolutely beautiful news. Kind of excited to see if we can uh, make some cash today. Because, you know, it is, it is a supermarket. It has everything you need. Everything you could possibly need on sale in here. Come get it and have a good time. Uh, so let's maybe go ahead and build another food shelf. We could build... Let's build another food shelf and see what happens. We can we can put it in that corner. Is there anything we're not currently selling? No, there is not. So a food shelf was maybe not a good idea. Okay, let me maybe remove the food shelf then. And let me go back to objects and get the regular shelf. And throw that in there. So what can I put on this that doesn't already exist? Uh, let's do light bulbs and electricity. We'll go with light bulbs and electricity and see what happens. Uh, now, it looks like we are going to make some money today. Possibly. There has just been a change in staff. Everybody's decided to go to this one queue. But the place is busy. The place is definitely busy. We're making a little bit of cash. Which is what I want to see. A lot of customers in here. Still haven't broken our record of 84 customers, though. And to be honest, looking at this place, I'm not sure I want to break a record of 84 customers. I don't know if we would um, be able to actually deal with 84 customers at any one time. But this is looking like some good money here. So uh, I'm excited. I'm actually kind of excited that we might make some good cash today. Although this place closes at 9, doesn't it? So we're not going to be making that much, but we're making something. So that's exciting. That is, uh, that is definitely, definitely exciting. There we go. No, it closes at 10. We made $1,500. So closing the other stores was definitely a good idea. Definitely a good idea to close that. We're very close to making 5,000 total sales. I think once we do that, once we make 5,000 total sales, I'm going to look into opening a restaurant over here because I really want to. Uh, if we go to build, we're going to need things like the order counter. We're going to need two of those, possibly. Although, it's a little tricky having the order counters because order counters rotate, right? They can rotate like that. Fast food soda dispensers can't and you need them. Same with the food warmer and same with the cooking range. So, yeah, that, that makes things slightly complicated. Uh, what I guess I could do is... I guess I could put a cooking range there, put the dispensers there, put the counter behind it. I guess. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Uh, let's start getting the things for a fast food restaurant anyway. We'll do it like this so that we can get the order counter there. Bit of a weird spot for an order counter, but it kind of keeps it out of the way. Gives me all of this space over here for uh, people to sit, which is kind of nice. Although, I don't know if I like that layout. I don't know. Maybe I should go for some short... Oh, max Q size of 3. That's not much. Max Q size of 10 right there. Not bad. Oh, we got the thing. We did the thing. Beautiful. Oh, my God. So many people in there. Uh, let me see. What can I do with this? You know what? I'm going to get two order counters, and I'm going to have to get another one of these, and another one of these, and another one of those. And then I do want to get rid of these, and I want to get some tables in there. Absolutely want to get some tables in there. Uh, so let's go for food court tables, because honestly, that's really all we can uh, properly afford here. So get a bunch of food court tables, space them out like this. Quite expensive, this project. Quite expensive indeed. But I'm hoping for the best, so there we go. Bunch of food court tables. And that's going to be a working restaurant right there. That's that's going to be a good restaurant. That's going to be storage. We're going to need uh, a staff door there. We actually need a staff door up there as well. 
Not quite sure if that'll be replaced or not, but we'll see. Looking like we're getting another thousand today, which is beautiful news. Don't think I can put a staff door up there, so let me put a staff door there instead. And let me go to remove object, and let me get some walls just there. Right, so what we need to do is we need to assign this to be a fast food restaurant. We need to assign this to be storage over here, just like so. And uh, we need to go to manage. So fast food restaurant one is going to be renamed very, very cleverly, because I'm oh so clever, to uh, McDillon's, just like so. And storage three is going to be Macca's. No, hold on. Uh, Macca's storage. All right. So you need to be assigned to that as your storage. And then we need to get some people to work in there. So... So, let's hire some people. We are going to need some staff, so we need two cashiers. Let's go for Tatiana Anthony, and let's go for Max Huff. Let's get Jean Wilkinson to be a cook, and let's get Amanda Spears to be the stock clerk. You all start at 9 in the morning, which is beautiful stuff, so you're all going to come to work this morning, which I'm very excited about. So, not bad. Hopefully we can make some money. Hopefully we can make some good cash. I'm I'm hopeful. Definitely hopeful. Uh, now, while we're waiting for the day to kick off, I guess I should probably explain why there haven't been a couple of episodes of this for the last few days. Uh, to sum it up, I've not been feeling so great. I've been feeling a little bit down in the dumps, so I just didn't really feel like playing this or anything. Real. I didn't feel like recording anything. I've been playing a lot of Ark Survival Evolved recently with some friends, and... That's been a lot of fun. I also had James visiting for the weekend. If you don't know who he is, I mean, you probably do. Uh, he runs The Sim Supply and Flabaliki. So he was over visiting for a couple of days. We played mini golf for like four hours and filmed it. So that's going to be a video at some point. Uh, kind of excited to get that video out. I just don't know when that video is going to go out. For the, sole per for, the, for the simple reason that it's going to take such a long time to edit. Like, such, such a long time to edit. But I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how it turns out. But that, that's that's a thing that's coming. Anyway, uh, today is looking like it might end up being a pretty good day. The restaurant is not very popular at the moment, I'll be honest. But there's a couple of people in here. A couple of people in here. We are already making some cash. We are... Still not quite there with the uh, profit of 2,000 or the uh, the 100 customers on site. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, I could take out a loan if I wanted to. Research is... Are we researching? Oh, we got restrooms. I didn't pay attention to getting restrooms. Okay. I didn't realize that I actually got restrooms already. Okay. Uh, so, assign restroom. Needs access, toilet cubicles, and toilet sinks. I'm thinking that... I kind of want to get restrooms in both places, kind of independently of each other. I kind of feel like that would be a good idea. Uh, so what size is a toilet cubicle and what size is the sink? So toilet cubicle is this. So it's, um, it's a one tile thing and the sink is that. Okay. But they're also probably going to want those, and they're maybe going to want paper dispensers. Oh, vending machines and arcade cabinets. I didn't realize those were things. Um, that's Those are tempting to get. Those are very tempting. I could get some plants as well. I'm not going to get plants, but yeah, that's. I didn't realize that was all things that you could do. Uh, so if we go to foundation here, just for a second... Uh, and I was to do sort of that kind of thing. I mean, I could totally do a bathroom there. That's, that's kind of expensive. Um, but I'm curious to see if I, if I do this, right? We're going to get this built. We're going to build that. And what I want to do with it is I want to go to objects. And I want to get myself a couple of toilet cubicles. Now, can, can toilets be unisex in this game? That's... That's kind of my big question here, because if they can't be, then we have a problem. Uh, we're going to want some sinks, which has to be... It is indoors. Can it really only be in the top or bottom walls? It can't be in the left one. 
It can be the right one, but it can't be the left one? Really? That's odd. Um, can I cancel those then? So I can put that over there. Can I put the cubicle on this side? Yeah, so I can put three cubicles there. I can put the sinks, uh, one, two, three. And I guess I'll put a paper dispenser up there with nothing else. So that's going to be totally fine. So we need to get ourselves a door. And that's going to be a restroom. I sincerely hope I don't have... I really hope it can be unisex. Uh, so if I do that as a restroom and go to manage... Restroom 5 zone. It's active. So... Yeah, restroom 5 is not active. Or is, is anyone going to use it? It's kind of the end of the day, so I'm not really sure, but... Oh, there we go. So that's going to keep people relatively happy. I do want to get another one for the restaurant, but we are really close to making $2,000 of profit today. Now that, that's pretty good news. That is pretty good news. Uh, so let me have a look at some of my companies then. So OBLS has a 56% profit margin, which is beautiful news. Uh, Maccas has a 27%, which is okay. It's not as much as I'd like, but OBLS having 57%, is amazing news because when it had when we had Jeff's pharmacy and when we had fresh produce, it was about 40%. So getting rid of the other two stores has done some good stuff because Jeff's pharmacy had about 20 to 30% of uh profit margin, where fresh produce was at minus one before I get rid of it. So that is actually really good news that that has um worked out like that. Now I would like to get some some restrooms over here. I think that might be a good idea. It's expensive, but I think it's going to be a good investment. And uh, what I'm also thinking I might do is after this episode, I'm going to leave a little bit of time between episodes, I guess, uh, because I want to just sort of generate some money from general revenue uh, from the mall. Because that seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, so that's 6,200. That's 5,200. Let's go for a... Let's go for something kind of small here. So we'll do that and get rid of that. And that'll be a nice little extension. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, between episodes, leave the game running for a little bit, probably. And uh, see if we can just generate a little bit of cash so that we uh, can actually do some stuff. Because at the moment... There's a whole lot of little things being done, but I feel like it's going really, really slowly, and I'd like to uh, just speed it up a little bit. So we'll get that all in there. We'll go to assign and say it's going to be a restroom. There we go. So we have two restrooms here at the mall. Uh, this place is super, super busy today, which is beautiful. It's quite early, and there were like 60 people here, so... This is definitely promising. Uh, the the Maccas restroom getting some attention there. Maccas in general getting some attention today, which is beautiful to see. Can we pass the 84 total customers that we had? We're, at seven, we're in the mid 70s, but the number is definitely dropping. I think I think like mid 70s is sort of the peak of customers that we end up having here, which is a shame. Which is definitely a shame. It would be nice to have a few more. This place is actually a bit busier than it has been, though. Which is beautiful news. We're also over a thousand and just about halfway through the day. Now, unfortunately, this place did close just now. So, we're down to one shop, but it's a very busy shop. A lot of stuff going in here. Lots of full queues. I don't know how happy people are going to be about that. But this, this makes me happy. Looking at this makes me very, very happy. Because it's it's so many sales, so many people. Looks like we might break the 2,000 mark. Come on, come on, break that 2,000 mark. We're so close. 2,000. I don't know if that'll count, though, because we need to have 2,000 as the end of the day profits. And we have two more hours of revenue to go. I don't think we're going to break 2,000. I don't know if we're going to break 2,000. Come on. Come on. Give me that 2,000. Give me that two. We did it. We did it. We straight up did it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we need to now turn a daily profit of over, over $5,000, which is... Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. 
But I'm happy about this. I'm actually really happy about this because we're we're doing it. We're doing the thing. My changes seem to have been good ones. This store is ridiculously busy all of the time. And I like it. There's restrooms and people seem to like it. So this isn't quite a mole. If anything, this is less of a mole than it was in the previous episode because there were many more stores in the previous episode. But... We're making more money. So what that tells me is that it's going to be really difficult to convincingly get an actual mole going in this game because it seems like it favors just having everything in one location, which is really weird for a game called Another Brick in the Mole. But it really does seem like the customers would rather have everything in one spot. They'd rather go to one store for everything that they want. So... I mean, maybe that'll change when we get research, when we research like clothing and electronics, especially things like electronics, you know, like computers and games consoles and smartphones. That kind of stuff absolutely needs to go in its own store. But I feel like having cosmetics and fresh fruit and veg and fish and all that stuff in one store, I feel like that's reasonable. Like I can go into my local Tesco and I'll find alcohol, but I'll also find general cosmetics. I'll find the occasion, you know, it's pans and pots and dishes and all that stuff. So this this does seem like a perfectly reasonable setup for um, for this kind of store. Now the general complaint there was queues were full at about 2 p.m. Uh, this place is again seeing some good business. OBLS is up to 59% where Macca's is at 39%. Not bad. Uh, OBLS actually the main product is liquor. 6% of sales have liquor. The main category is beverages, with 50% of sales having a beverage. Not bad at all. This makes me really happy. I'm, I'm actually really, really happy seeing how this place is going. Don't think we're going to make quite as much money today. I don't think we're going to break that 2,000 mark. I also don't think we... Now we're still at 84 being the top number of people here. Definitely need to bring more people in to, uh, into the mall, but ladies and gents, I reckon I'm gonna leave it there for today. I think the game can, uh, be left to run for about an hour, uh, between this episode and the next, but, uh, I'd say this change that I've made here has been a pretty darn good one. Uh, if I don't end up leaving the game running for as long as I just said that I will, uh, what I think I'll do is just end up taking it alone and hope that I don't go completely bankrupt paying that back. Because, uh, well, actually, you know what? Forget that. Completely forget what I just said. I am going to leave the game running for the sole purpose that I'm just going to get some of the research done. Uh, because I don't think any of this stuff is particularly interesting, interesting to wait for. And I'd rather just get this all done and start looking into, you know, getting some clothes stores, getting electronic stores and all that stuff. Rather than just sitting here and going, hey, let's look at OBLS and see how much money it makes. Uh, so we'll get the research done. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can make some good stuff. We'll see if we can make a mole. And uh, we'll hope for the best. So thank you kind of for watching. This has been another Brick in the Mole part uh, four, I think. Yeah, part four. Again, apologies for the delay between episodes. I'll try and make it a little bit more regular. Uh, but uh, yeah, things happen and life finds a way. So again, thank you kind of for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>